which if you've read the module you should know that this law states that matter cannot be created or destroyed it can only change forms and today we're going to see that in action with these experimental data that we're going to collect to get started you're going to need a couple of supplies first you're going to need some lye now this is a very very deadly substance and unfortunately, it looks a lot like both table salt and sugar. But believe me, it's not. <clears throat> That's why you always want to mark your deadly substances. As you can see, this one is marked in beautiful pink marker, lye. The next thing you're going to need is a 100 milliliter beaker, as well as a 250 milliliter beaker. Next, you're going to need a little glass disc called a watch glass. That's what that looks like as well as a, a stirring rod. Now this is a fancy stirring rod, very beautiful, okay? You're gonna need a couple of gloves for protection, okay? You're gonna need a mass scale. This measures in grams, so you're not gonna want a scale that measures in pounds because that's just not what we're dealing with today, okay? You're going to need some vinegar, white vinegar. You want it to be clear, okay? You're going to need a teaspoon, a measurement teaspoon, okay? And the final thing you're going to need is some cabbage water. Now, we've talked about cabbage water before. You simply make it by boiling some water, throwing some cabbage leaves in there, make sure they're red cabbage leaves, letting it boil, and then draining the water. Now, I would show you how to do that because it's a very helpful experience. But, you know, a lot of people have heard about the law of mass conservation, but what a lot of people have not heard of is the law of time conservation which simply states, why do later in the day what you could do earlier in the previously mentioned day? So that's what I did. I made this cabbage water a little earlier, all in the name of time conservation. Okay, uh, I think that's all we need. And I do just want to mention really quick that if you don't have these fancy, you know, glass beakers and fancy stirring rods, that's not really a problem. That's what your mind's for. This is the time to be resourceful, you know? If you don't have one of these or these, heck, use a glass jar. If you don't have a watch glass, you know what you can use? A porcelain saucer. If you don't have a stirring rod, use a spoon. That's the kind of thing that makes great scientists. No excuses. All right, let's move on to the actual experiment. After you've made your cabbage water, you're going to take some white vinegar that we talked about earlier, and you're going to put somewhere between 50 to 60 milliliters in your 100 milliliter beaker. Now, say, like I said earlier, you don't have a fancy beaker and you're using a glass jar, and it doesn't have milliliters inscribed on the side. That's not a problem. You just do about a quarter of a cup. You see, in science, there are qualitative and quantitative measurements. A quantitative measurement is a measurement that has to be exact. For example, if I said you had to do exactly 62 milliliters. However, a qualitative measurement is just a measurement that doesn't need to be so exact, which is what this measurement is. So you can do between 50 and 60 milliliters, or you can simply do a quarter cup. Let's go ahead and do that. 20 milliliters, 40 milliliters. 
milliliters. 60 milliliters. Okay. We got our 60 milliliters. Okay. This is the point at which you want to put your gloves on because we're about to be working with lye, which as I previously mentioned, deadly substance. So apply your gloves. Okay. That one's a little sticky. Next glove. Okay. Who knew putting on gloves would be the hardest part of the experiment? <laughs> okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to take our watch glass, or if you're using a porcelain saucer, that's fine too. You're going to get your teaspoon measure, and you're going to take your lye, and you're going to put it on to the watch glass. So let's see, teaspoon of lye. Don't get this on your skin because it will burn your skin. Believe me, scars everywhere, all over my arm. Why do you think I wear a long sleeve lab coat? Okay, now you're gonna set your watch, your watch glass aside. At this point, you can take off your gloves unless you're afraid of chemical burns, at which point you're gonna wanna keep them on. But if you're careful, you should be able to get away with it. Okay, now uh, after we have our cabbage water, we're gonna pour about 50 milliliters of the solution into this 250 milliliter solution. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, your cabbage water might be pink. Mine turned blue, I'm not exactly sure why. But it's pretty, so is pink. So either way, cabbage water, it's not about the color so much as it's about what's in it. So after we have this 50 milliliters of solution in our 250 milliliter beaker, we're gonna pour about 10 milliliters of this into the glass with the vinegar. So if you measured 60 milliliters of vinegar, you're gonna measure up to the 70 mark with cabbage water. You can see our vinegar has now turned pink, which is very beautiful. And the reason that the vinegar has turned pink is because there are chemicals in the cabbage leaves. And as you'll learn later on, these chemicals create a chemical change and it makes this substance turn pink. Now we're going to place our stirring rod or our spoon into this beaker right here, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to cover this with the watch glass. This might be a little scary, just make sure that that doesn't fall off. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna take our scale, okay? And we're going to set this whole setup right here on top of our scale, okay? That says that we are at 163 grams. So remember that number, 163 grams. And now we can actually take this off the, the scale don't get rid of this yet, we'll use it later. And now we're going to take this lye and carefully pour it into the vinegar. Like I said, careful not to get it on your skin. You might want to wear gloves at this point, okay? You can use your stirring rod or your spoon. Just kind of scrape that lye off there. All right, now reach down in here with your stirring rod. Give this guy a little stir. Oh, oh, oh my. You can see it's turning into a different color. Now, you'll learn about exactly why this happens in a later module, but for now, just realize that you're observing a chemical reaction, and you're, you're forming completely different chemicals by using all these different substances. Now, you might notice that this is steaming, and that is because if you are able to feel this, it's very, very warm. In fact, I can barely hold it without it burning my hands. And that means that you just created energy by mixing together these substances. Isn't that incredible? You also might notice that the lye seems to have disappeared. While in fact, it's really just dissolved into this substance. It's wild, the things that science can do. Now, what we're going to do is exactly like we did just a little while ago, we're gonna get our scale we have our substance, it has the lye in it, and we're gonna get our watch glass, okay? And we're gonna measure this. 163 grams, exactly what it was before. And you know what this tells you? Even though we mix the lye into here, the lye changed forms, the chemicals in the vinegar and the cabbage water completely changed to form a different color and it released potential energy with the heat it was putting off 
And yet, despite all that, it's still the exact same way it was before. This perfectly describes the law of mass conservation, which states that matter cannot be created or destroyed. It just changes forms. And we saw that right here, where the, the, emo the, 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 the cabbage water and the, and the vinegar, it changed forms, but it weighs the exact same. It's incredible. Now you know that the law of mass conservation is true, and you were able to do this fun, exciting experiment just so it could prove it to you. That's all for today, and I hope to see you guys again. Enjoy your day, and if you like this experiment, make sure to hit the subscribe button, because I'm coming at you with more material really soon. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Gotta finish my, yo my, yoga, my yoga routine. Be right back.